Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic delays in Reaper. Now, the idea of a dynamic delay is a delay that comes in and out based on dynamics. So we could trigger it by certain sounds, and we'll only hear the delay when those sounds aren't happening. Let me give you a few examples. I have a vocal in front of me right here, and there's some spaces in the phrases that I want to fill up with delay. Now, I could do this by automating a delay, but that's going to take up too much time. I want to do this a bit quicker. And dynamic delays will make this process automatically. So let's see what we have. Stones throw from the interstate. He fell asleep and sealed his fate. When he crossed two yellow lines. So I want to fill these spaces right here with delay. But I don't want to mask the vocal while he's singing in these spaces. So I want the delay to turn on and off while the singer is singing. And we could do that with dynamic delays. So let me show you how to set this up. We'll start off by making a new track right here. We'll name it Delay. Then we'll send our vocal track to the Delay track by grabbing right here in the routing and dropping it on the Delay track. Let's bring it down a bit. And now let's put a delay on this track. I'll go to the Reaper effects and choose the Re Delay right here. And I'll turn off the dry sound because the dry sound is coming from this track and the wet sound will come from this track. Then I'm going to change this to two eighth note delays, which is a quarter note. I'll bring up some feedback so it repeats. And then I'll filter it a bit so it sounds a bit thinner. So now it's here what it sounds like. Stones throw from the interstate, fell asleep and sealed his face when he crossed two yellow lines. Sounds pretty good in the spaces, but it's a bit cloudy or cluttered while he's actually singing. So now we'll add a compressor to kind of duck the delay whenever he's singing. So I'll add a compressor after the delay, and I'll use the Reaper one right here, Recomp. And then I'm going to trigger this delay or sidechain it from the vocal. And we could do that by going to the routing and drag and dropping it onto the compressor. And see it's set up. Audio one and two goes into audio three and four on this track. So then we can go into our compressor and change the detector input to auxiliary inputs, which is three and four that we just sent from the vocal. So this compressor is going to be triggered from this track. So every time he's singing, the delay is going to be compressed. So let's set the attack as fast as possible, the release as fast as possible, bring the ratio up as high as possible, so it's really going to compress, and then bring down the threshold so we don't hear the delay while he's actually singing. But we're going to hear it in the spaces. Stones throw from the interstate. He fell asleep and sealed his fate when he crossed two yellow lines. It's a pretty cool effect. And if you want it to sound more subtle or to slowly come in, we can make the release a bit longer and it'll fade in. Stones throw from the interstate. He fell asleep and sealed his fate. When he crossed two yellow lines. But most times, we can keep the release as fast as possible. Stones throw from the interstate. He fell asleep and sealed his fate. When he crossed two yellow lines. It's a nice effect. And we could set it up to automatically work without writing automation. Let me show you another example. In this track here, I have a synth that's playing along with a pad. Let's hear it. So 
So I want to add a delay to it. And I have a delay set up on this track already, right over here. And it's set pretty similar to the one I showed you before. Quarter notes, a bit of feedback, and it's also filtered. So let's send some of this to the delay. Bring it down a bit. Again, it creates a nice effect, but it's kind of muddying up or cluttering when the synth is playing. It sounds good in the spaces, but not while the synth is actually playing. The notes wind up playing on top of each other. So this is a perfect use for dynamic delay. So let's add a compressor after the delay, right here. We'll set it up with the attack as fast as possible and the release, bring the ratio up all the way, and then we'll send the synth to the compressor as a side chain. Again, one and two go to three and four. So we'll change it right over here to the aux inputs, and then we'll adjust this to taste. Notice we're only hearing the delay in these spaces. It's being ducked by the compressor right over here. This is a great example where we could use the release to make it come in a bit smoother. Notice how it fades in. So hearing a fading in delay after the synth stops playing. Or we could have it come in immediately. Either way, it's a lot quicker than automating this delay. So that's how you use dynamic delays in Reaper. It's great for vocals, synths, guitar solos, or any sound where you have spaces you want to fill in with delay. So I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!